Avoid coffee if you have these health problems. Do you enjoy starting your day with a cup of coffee, but question whether it's the healthiest choice? Before reaching for another cup at breakfast, let's explore the potential health concerns associated with coffee consumption and why it might be worth reconsidering your morning brew. 1. Heart Health Concerns John, a 65-year-old retiree from Canada, cherished his morning ritual of enjoying freshly brewed coffee. However, he started noticing his heart racing and experiencing palpitations after his second cup. Concerned, he consulted his dietitian. Research published in the journal Heart indicates that excessive coffee consumption can increase the risk of heart palpitations and arrhythmias. Caffeine, the primary stimulant in coffee, can worsen these conditions, especially in older adults with pre-existing heart issues. John's dietitian advised him to limit his coffee intake to one cup per day and switch to decaffeinated options to enjoy the flavor without the added risk. Since making this change, John's heart palpitations have significantly reduced, allowing him to enjoy his mornings without concern. I encourage you to watch the video until the end, as we will share important tips on how to safely consume coffee to benefit your health. 2. Osteoporosis Mary, a 72-year-old woman from Canada, was diagnosed with osteoporosis and soon discovered that her beloved espresso might be impacting her bone health more than she realized. Research published in Osteoporosis International revealed that excessive coffee consumption can hinder calcium absorption, which is vital for maintaining bone density in older adults. This can worsen conditions like osteoporosis. Mary's dietitian advised her to cut back on coffee and ensure she gets enough calcium through her diet or supplements. After following this guidance, Mary noticed improvements in her bone density tests, allowing her to stay active and healthy. 3. Gastroesophageal reflux disease GERD Robert, a 68-year-old from the USA, enjoyed his strong black coffee but began experiencing severe heartburn and acid reflux, particularly after his morning cup. His dietitian suggested that coffee might be the cause. Research in the Journal of Gastroenterology shows that coffee can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, increasing the risk of acid reflux and GERD symptoms, especially in older adults who are more susceptible to digestive issues. Robert switched to a low-acid coffee brand and reduced his intake to one cup a day. As a result, his heartburn symptoms decreased, allowing him to enjoy his coffee without discomfort. 4. Hypertension Linda a 70-year-old grandmother from the UK, took pride in her active lifestyle. However, during a routine checkup, her dietitian noticed that her blood pressure was higher than usual, despite her healthy diet and regular exercise. It was suggested that her daily coffee habit might be a contributing factor. Research published in the American Journal of Hypertension found that consuming more than three cups of coffee a day can raise blood pressure levels which is especially concerning for older adults at risk for hypertension. Linda's dietitian recommended that she reduce her coffee intake and try other warm beverages like herbal tea. Within a few weeks, Linda's blood pressure readings improved, and she felt more energetic throughout the day. 5. Anxiety and Sleep Disorders Peter, a 69-year-old from the UK, loved his coffee but began experiencing jitters and difficulty sleeping. His dietitian pointed out that his caffeine consumption might be contributing to his anxiety and insomnia. Research published in Sleep Medicine Reviews shows that caffeine can disrupt sleep patterns and worsen anxiety, especially in older adults. Excessive caffeine intake can disturb the sleep-wake cycle, leading to poor sleep quality. Peter started cutting back on caffeine, opting for decaf in the afternoon and evening. Consequently, he found it easier to fall asleep and experienced reduced anxiety during the day. 6. Bladder Issues Susan, a 66-year-old from the USA, noticed she was making frequent trips to the bathroom, especially after her morning coffee. Her dietitian explained that caffeine acts as a diuretic, increasing bladder activity. 
Research in urology indicates that caffeine can worsen bladder control issues, such as an overactive bladder, which are common among older adults. This can lead to more frequent and urgent urination. Susan decided to cut back on coffee and switch to water and herbal teas. This adjustment helped reduce her bathroom visits and improved her overall comfort. Stay tuned until the end of the video, where we'll provide tips on how to enjoy coffee while avoiding related issues and maximizing its benefits. 7. Diabetes Management James, a 70-year-old diabetic from Canada, enjoyed his sweetened coffee but was advised by his dietitian that caffeine might impact his blood sugar levels. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism shows that caffeine can reduce insulin sensitivity, complicating blood sugar management. This is especially important for older adults with diabetes. James switched to black coffee and restricted his intake to one cup a day. He also began monitoring his blood sugar levels more closely, resulting in improved diabetes management and overall health. 8. Kidney Health Barbara, a 74-year-old from the UK, enjoyed her coffee but began to experience kidney discomfort. Her dietitian noted that excessive coffee consumption might be affecting her kidney function. Research published in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology indicates that high caffeine intake can put a strain on the kidneys and raise the risk of kidney stones and chronic kidney disease. Barbara cut back on her coffee consumption and increased her water intake, which helped ease her kidney discomfort and improve her hydration levels. Now I'm going to show you how you can consume coffee correctly to avoid any related problems and gain only the benefits of this drink. Without this information, watching the video up to this point wouldn't make sense, so pay close attention. While coffee has its downsides, it can still be enjoyed in moderation. Here are some tips for safely consuming coffee to maximize its benefits and minimize risks. Choose quality over quantity. Invest in high-quality coffee beans that are organic and free from pesticides. Freshly ground coffee tends to be less acidic and may have a better flavor profile. Mind the additives. Be cautious with sugar, creamers, and flavored syrups that can add unnecessary calories and affect blood sugar levels. Opt for natural sweeteners like stevia or a splash of almond milk. Pair with food. Drinking coffee on an empty stomach can sometimes cause acidity and digestive discomfort. Pair your coffee with a balanced meal or snack to help mitigate these effects. Consider decaf. If you're sensitive to caffeine, switch to decaffeinated coffee. It provides the same rich flavor without the stimulating effects of caffeine. Use filtered coffee. Some studies suggest that unfiltered coffee, French press or espresso, may increase cholesterol levels. Using a paper filter can help remove certain compounds and make your coffee healthier. Temperature matters. Avoid extremely hot coffee, as high temperatures can increase the risk of burns and might have potential links to certain types of cancer. Let your coffee cool to a comfortable drinking temperature. Timing and frequency. Space out your coffee consumption throughout the day to avoid excessive caffeine intake in a short period. Try to have your last cup at least six hours before bedtime to prevent sleep disturbances. Watch your reactions. Pay attention to how your body reacts to coffee. If you notice any adverse effects such as jitteriness, anxiety, or digestive issues, adjust your intake accordingly. Experiment with preparation methods. Different brewing methods, drip, pour over, cold brew, can alter the acidity and strength of coffee. Experiment to find a method that suits your taste and health needs. While coffee can be a delightful part of your daily routine, it's essential to be mindful of its potential impacts on your health, especially if you're over 60. By understanding the risks and making informed choices, you can enjoy coffee in moderation without compromising your well-being. Remember, always consult with a nutritionist or dietitian before making significant changes to your diet. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos.
Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.